Okay, we're back with the plasma. Now I've been put I put a little bit of KOH in here, so it's not just baking soda. I don't know what the pH level is. Um, right now we're sitting at zero volts. Um, there's a minimal 20 watt draw on this right now. Um, the voltage is set at 1,000 on the analog meter. Voltage is set at 600 on the digital meter. Digital meter is hooked up to the output of the variac on the uh, DC side after the rectifier. The um, analog meter is set up to read the DC voltage on the cell itself. It's hooked up between the anode and cathode leads. So here we go. I'm going to start this up. Now remember. The temperature right now is 136 inside the cell, or the reactor, however you want to look at it. Um, I'm going to start the voltage up. That is 9 volts. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that up to 25 volts. There we go. That's sitting at 25 volts. We're pulling 145 watts. Okay. 145 watts is 25 volts. On here we're showing we're on a thousand scale. I'll just go ahead and switch it over. At 50 volt range, we're showing about 25 volts. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it to the 250 range, which is actually red on the bottom of the top scale. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up so I can show the watts that are, are being used when I turn the voltage up here. So watts. 800, 1300, 1395, and I start plasma, 146. Now, the watts are dropping off. I'm not turning anything. Voltage is staying the same. We went from 1300, we keep going down. Uh, the temperature of the water is 156. Plasma. dropping, we're at 600 watts, the temperature keeps going up, we're at 168, uh, watts keep dropping, bolts are still the same, I haven't changed the variac, the variac is still set exactly where it was, in fact I can mark that, I put a, something with an indicator there so you can see I haven't changed that. That's the plasma formation we can up. We haven't we haven't gotten all the way through the scale of light yet. Okay. I'm going up with the voltage now. I can only do this for a few seconds. off and let it quench. Okay, cathode's quenched. Now my seal will s sort of cool off a little bit and I can turn the plasma back on. Okay, at 115 volts or so I start to see the plasma there. Thank you. 
drop in with these temperatures they're going up inside. I'm not really seeing the steam yet. Uh, 500 volts uh, in the cell on the 1000 setting reading about 500 volts fluctuating between 5 and 6 so I'm going to turn up the voltage here get it back up to where my capacitors can handle for a little while you see 164 175 volts 160 watts, a little over 600 volts in the cell, uh, between 6 and 700 volts in here. And the plasma is yellowish color, not as much blue as before when I overheated the cathode, but still pretty impressive, pretty uniform. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the voltage and see what kind of uh, voltage spike I get on my analog meter at the cell. Here goes. That's 200 volts. 220, 222, 300 watts, and 700 volts in the cell. 224 volts, 300 watts and dropping. 700 volts in the cell. Camera. Okay. Keep it at 150, 150 watts, good steam production, and uh, almost 600 volts in the cell, between 5 and 600 fluctuating volts inside the cell. And I don't know if you can see there, but uh, there's a pretty good bluish plasma at the bottom. This camera doesn't work as good on the plasma as it looks in person, but uh, still not bad. So, what would normally take uh, the volt, the uh, wattage that I saw earlier uh, when I first started this up was I think 1,300 watts uh, prior to the plasma formation is now requiring. 160 to 170 watts to maintain the same output at, at that voltage. And when I turn up that voltage, the wattage only goes up slightly. Basically, the voltage becomes additive to the watts rather than a multi multiplier like it should be. <laughs> 